Hey guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at this device. Now, today is just going to be an unboxing video. I'm just going to be showing you what it comes with, and later on, I'll do a follow-up video. After I get a chance to play around with it, just to tell you my honest opinion if I think it's worth anyone spending their money on it. So this video is just geared towards people who maybe stay at hotels or travel frequently, maybe Airbnb, and you want to know if there are hidden cameras, maybe hidden microphones, maybe other types of hidden devices. Uh, so I bought this just, you know, for the fun of it, really. It's not something I needed, uh, of course, but... It is something I thought could be neat or fun to make a video on. So thank you guys to those who support the channel. And I used those funds to get this so I could do this interesting video series to you, for you guys. Uh, let's take a look at what it comes with. It's called the X13 Wireless Signal and Hidden Camera Detector. Now, it has a couple different features that it lists here and we're going to open it up and take a look at what's inside it just today. Uh, like I mentioned, I haven't had a chance to play around with it. I did open it just to charge it so I could do this video. Uh, but it mentions on the side, locate on one of GPS trackers, detect eavesdropping devices, prevent phone surveillance, detect pinhole cameras. Sure is a lot of promises. Is it really what it promises? Let's take a closer look at what's inside. So inside the box, we see the device. The device in question is the X13 here. It is for sale on various sites such as Amazon and others. Uh, it has this nice little form factor. Now I'm not suggesting anyone buy it yet. I'm going to do a follow-up video and give you my honest opinion on if you should buy it or not. So I will be doing another video where we're going to do some additional testing just to kind of talk about what I honestly think about this device. So what you do to turn it on, you hold this button. There's a nice little antenna here so you can pull that out. Hold in the power button for five seconds. At first I thought it did not work because I just pressed the power button. Of course the instructions are right here. And uh, once you turn it on you have this little light here. Now what that's supposed to represent is the sensitivity for the signal detection. Oh, it's beeping already. How about that? Might be my phone here. Yep, there we go. Things really going off on the phone. Okay, I'll put that away for now. Put it a little farther away at least. So there's different sensitivities it offers. So you press this button, you can add additional sensitivity here. Uh, you could start with the default or not. Uh, if you press this bell button, it will uh, change the mode. Let's go ahead, though, and take a look and see what the instructions have to say for it. As you can see, extremely tiny print, as is the case with many of these types of little devices that are manufactured. Um, so the instructions really deliver some promises. Is it what it represents? We'll see. We're going to be doing some testing. After I get a chance to set up some testing, we're going to test it out a little more than I'm going to do today. Today I'm just showing what's in the box, so if you're not interested in that, go ahead and skip the video. But do make sure to give it a like, leave a comment what you think, and if you're interested in seeing the tests once I get a chance to play around more, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. So it says, a new generation of detectors adopts military quality, more accurately indicates the strength of the signal source, and adopts an efficient and convenient method so all products that violate your personal privacy have nowhere to hide. Wow, sounds good, right? This device uses U.S. military technology. Ooh, sounds, sounds efficient. And exclusively develops various market-oriented bugs. That's odd. And uh, mobile phone software? Hmm. Anyway, the instructions, for the most part, are somewhat, you know, hard to read. Very small. The English isn't so great. And uh, it does have some directions here, some very basic directions. So it doesn't really go into detail about testing it out. But uh, we will be doing some tests with this. 
Uh, so I am going to do a single test today just to show you. It also has a magnetic field detector. So what you can do once you turn it on, you have the wireless signal. Basically, if you have electronic devices, it should detect those emitting a wireless signal. And something that maybe, you know, transferring a camera feed to another location may be detected using something like this. Uh, but we will see. I'm not making any promises. As mentioned, I haven't had a chance to really look at it. But there you go. You got this other little light here. So you pull this thing up here. You have a little screen. So what this is for is, you know, reflecting off the lens of a camera in the dark. So if I turn off the lights, which I'll do in a future video on this, uh, you would look through this little viewfinder and of course it's supposed to you know reflect back the camera for you so you can find hidden cameras in say a hotel room or an Airbnb. That's the idea anyway. Uh, we'll see how well that works. Now if I press this little bell button again it'll change over to the magnetic field detection. Now you can use this for detecting things like GPS devices, tracking devices, at least according to the promises of the product itself. What I can demonstrate is I have a magnet right here. And it goes right off, so of course it does detect it. But the question is, how close can you get to an actual device that is malicious? Um, this is a very strong magnet, so of course it's going to go off, but it only goes off about maybe two inches away. Maybe about that, maybe an inch and a half on this magnet. Now this magnet comes from an old uh, desktop actually, and as you see, it's my little screw holder. So if I'm working on something, sometimes it's handy to just, you know, not lose your screws by throwing it on some magnets. So that's a little tip for uh, keeping track of your screws. And as you can see, it does detect it, and so that does work there. And uh, it also has this little flashlight, as you can see. So you could shine that to reflect off a camera. So, for example, uh, as is commonly known, you know, if you reflect it off a uh, camera lens, it may have a little bit of a blue light. I may bring over a laptop just to see. It's not good to do it though in the, but obviously it reflects its glass. I mean, what, what is it not going to reflect for? So you can see that. Um, so yeah, you got all these little features here and these lights on the other side, which turn on uh, if you're working in the dark and you want to try out the little uh, camera detection uh, viewer. So like I said, this is not a pro device. This is just a toy really. But if it works, it works. And we're going to see if it does work. So make sure to follow the channel and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think in the comments about the channel. And we might even play around with the Hacker F and see uh, if we can interact with this. So that could be fun. Uh, but we will set up some tests in a future video on this just to do some more real live tests. And uh, I'll be back with a video coming up soon. So make sure to like the channel and the video, subscribe, and I'll be back later with more on how to protect your security and privacy.